Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to another video from my YouTube channel and blog. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and have been one for 22 years and I wanted to share this fun card with you. Um, it has some really interesting details. I've, I've used um, the Wink of Stella to make everything really nice and shiny. And then let's see if I can get this so that you can see this right here, the embossing. Here we go. See the emboss or the scoring that I did right here? I used my score tool and it made these great little lines down the side and I thought it just added a really good definition. And it kind of broke up the plainness of the Whisper White. So let's get started. For this card, you are going to need a piece of the thick Whisper White, and that is four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at five and a half. That will make a top fold card. Then you're gonna need a piece of Daffodil Delight, and this is three and three quarters by five and a half. And you'll need two pieces of basic black. Um, these, this, per, these particular sheets are um, an inch, but you can just get by also with a half an inch by five and a half. And those are going to go down each side to make this little border that's right here. And then we have our card that we're going to be doing our scoring on and our stamping. And this is three and five eighths by five and a half. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is to go ahead and show you how to do this scoring that I've done right here. So we we'll get my scoreboard out. This is my Stampin' Up! scoreboard and a piece of paper and then we'll get our stylus if I can find it. Here we go. Get our stylus and let's see if I can get this in tighter so that you can see the numbers of where I'm going to be scoring. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my score at 7 eighths of an inch. And if you're a ruler challenge, like many people are, it's the little small little mark that's next to the left of the one inch mark. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start at the 7 eighths of an inch and you're going to score down to oh, about two and a half. Then you're going to move over one notch and come down to three and then you'll move over one more notch and you'll come down to three, three and a quarter and that's all it takes. Now you've got this side that is the valley side and the side that we're going to put on the card will be this mountain side. It's kind of hard to see. I hope it's showing up on the video for you. So we can go ahead and we can put this away. All right and one of the things that we can do right now is let's go ahead and we can put um, well, I'll just go ahead and I'll stamp first and then we'll put the card together later. So what we're going to use are the stamps from, I'm going to be using the sentiment from the Best Bird Set by Stampin' Up! And I'm going to be using the flower, the butterfly, and the bee from the Garden in Bloom stamp set from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to be using Daffodil Delight, Garden Green, and the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So we're going to do everything on this scratch paper and so we'll just go ahead and start stamping. So all of my outline stamps is what I'm going to be using first. So we might as well just go ahead and get all of the black outlines stamped in one swoop. And then our butterfly. I appreciate you stopping by my YouTube channel today or my blog wherever it is that you're that you're visit or that you're viewing this. I really appreciate you um, coming by and if you are watching on YouTube, I hope if you like the video that you'll give it a thumbs up and to please go ahead and subscribe. That would be great. 
So now we're going to take the Daffodil Delight and we're going to stamp the bee's body. And this is just going to be full strength. Okay, and then we'll do... Oh, I forgot to do the leaves. Let me go ahead and get those stamped first. Okay, now all the black is done. Okay, so we're going to do the inside of our leaves. Or, excuse me, the inside of our flower. And then we'll do our butterfly. Now for the larger image of the butterfly, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp it off so that I have a little inner detail and so that it will show up. So we'll just go ahead and tap that off. And we'll do the inner detail and this will be in the full strength. This is such a great set. I've had it for quite a while and I'm always forgetting to about using it. And it's just when I get things out, I think, oh my gosh, that's why I bought that. Because it's so blooming cute. So let's do our leaves. As I go along, if you're interested in any of the products that I'm showing, you can go out to my blog at KathleenStamps.com and you can click on any of the little links that I will have that will take you directly to my store or you can just go out to my store and there's a shop now button and um, then pick the items that you would like. So now to cut these out what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be using these layering squares and I'm going to be using the stitched shapes. So it's the smallest for the white and then I'm going to of the stitch shapes and then I'm going to use this, um, this group, the second to the smallest, to do the black. Now when you're making your cutting uh, platform or your sandwich for your Big Shot, <coughs> you're going to want to use your magnetic plate. And then you will put down one cutting pad. And then you'll take your images that you've stamped. And then you'll just put your die right on top of the image and run it through. And because there's lots of extra space, we can run the black through at exactly the same time. So you take your <coughs> excuse me, scraps of your black and then just run that through. Put your top plate on and run it through your big shot. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, now I've already done that to save some time. So I have all of them right here. So we can go ahead and start to assemble our card. First thing we're going to do is I'm we're going to take our Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to show you a trick that I use my Misty for, my stamp positioner. This helps making a card like this um, a lot easier to line up. So you're just going to open up your Misty and I'm going to take out the foam pad that's in it so that I have this depth that I need. Then I'm going to take my card and I'm going to put it down in the corner. Then we're going to put our adhesive on this card. Oh, I guess before I put this down, I need to put my black strips on. So let's go ahead and do that first. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to run my snail right down the side of the card. And then I'm going to line up the black 
So I have a nice even border across it. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that you get the same size of a border. Okay. Well, that was not quite right, but let's see if I can peel this off a little bit. Sometimes the things just decide they are not going to line up, and that's all there is to it. There we go. That looks a little better. Okay. So now we can go back and do my Misty trick. So you take your Misty and you have your card all the way up to the top, the way you want it. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to center this on and by pushing against this bar that's on this side, that will make sure that everything lines up perfectly to the top of the card. Now sometimes you're going to end up with a little excess down on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. And what I'm going to do with that is um, I'll just take it to my big cutter and I'll cut it off later. Okay, so now we can go ahead and we can put our card base on or our, and we're going to do exactly that same thing again using the Misty. So now we'll have the whole card in the slot, just like this, and then you're going to line this up till you have an even border on both sides. And there we go. Okay. So it's a nice little trick and it's something different that you can do with your stamp positioner. Alrighty. So now what we'll do is go ahead and let's put these together. wanting to work today. There we go. All right, here's our last one. All right, we'll put our foam tape on the back. our last one. Okay. So we're all set. So we're going to start with the B. Then it's just a case of making sure that everything is nicely lined up. Do our flower. And finally our butterfly. There we go. Now we're going to do some Wink Estella. 
make it shine. I love this Wink Estella. So nice how it makes everything so shiny. Okay, and finally, we're going to stamp our greeting. And the reason I waited till the end to stamp my greeting is because I wanted it to be in the middle of this butterfly. And until you actually have them on, I'm not, you know, I'm not really sure where it's going to end up. So take our greeting. Okay. There we go. Now one of the other things that I did, so <laughs> on the original card I stamped a bee on the inside and put a little bee trail on it just for a little bit of interest on the inside of the card. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and go ahead and visit my blog at KathleenStamps.com. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.